Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie. In this video, I want to talk about some interesting things that are coming out about the Aaron Rodgers trade. Shout out to the man, Boy Green. He brought this to surface. We heard from Greeny on the Pat McAfee show, and Mike Greenberg had something interesting to say on the Pat McAfee show that gives us a little update, if it's true, about what's going on with the Aaron Rodgers and the Jets and the Packers situation. According to Greenberg, he said that Packers is sending, or Aaron Rodgers, rather, is sending the Jets some messages telling him there's no rush hold it out a little bit if that means that you're going to be able to hold on to that 13th overall pick don't worry about it i'm coming to you guys probably not till may anyway so i find this very interesting to hear it from greeny because according to him this is what's happening so let's read from the quote of mike greenberg again if you guys want to check out boy green's article this is from his article on heavy.com i'll link that down below in the description shout out to my man, to my man paul boy green he does a phenomenal job covering the new york jets as you guys all know so quote this is what mike greenberg had to say on on the Pat McAfee show. I can tell you what I've heard. I've heard that Aaron has sent signals to the Jets that there is no reason for them to rush, that he's not coming until May anyway, so they're not missing out on anything right now. So they should hold out as long as it takes, and ultimately, they won't wind up having to trade the number 13 overall pick, which is what I think this is ultimately comes down to. So this is definitely very interesting. If Greeny is telling the truth here, then... I don't know. It seems like this might happen after the NFL draft because the draft is literally what? Two weeks away from tomorrow. And according to all the stuff that we're hearing, it's that the Jets and the Packers, they're talking, but they're not really close on a deal. And if I had to guess, it definitely does seem like the Packers are holding out and they have an offer and they're like saying, hey, if you don't accept this, then we're going to take this all the way up until the NFL draft. And when it comes from the, the Jets' perspective of things, they feel very confident where they have some leverage in the situation. Uh-oh, I said the L word. I said leverage. Sorry, guys. But I feel like the Jets feel comfortable with where they're at because they feel like if they can push this to after the NFL draft and still acquire Aaron Rodgers via the trade market, that means the Jets get to hold on to the 13th overall pick. That means the Jets get to hold on to both second round picks and they can really build through the draft and really build around Aaron Rodgers with the youth. Because what did the Jets do last year with all this draft capital? Well, they got the two rookie of the years in Sauce Gardner and Garrett Wilson. They also got Brees Hall. They also got Jermaine Johnson and Michael Clemens and Jeremy Rucker and Max Mitchell. We all love what Joe Douglas did last year in the NFL draft. So if you're telling me that we can really allocate all of our draft picks and use them on, you know, rookies for this season without having to sacrifice draft capital and still getting Aaron Rodgers and just sacrificing draft picks for future years instead of the 2023 draft class, sign me up. Now, this is definitely very interesting as well because this is being, you know, there's so many different things that really had a look at this situation when it comes to the Jets and the Packers trade. We heard Joe Douglas himself talk at the WFAN conference or whatever it was last Friday night with Boomer and Geo. Joe Douglas said, he's coming. Don't worry. And I know some people were like, why would Joe Douglas in his right mind tell the world that Aaron Rodgers is coming? That takes the Jets out of all the leverage. I think Joe Douglas just basically confirmed everything that we've been hearing, guys. It's just a matter of time. He gave, he kind of gave me, at least, the way I look at Joe Douglas saying that little wink to us Jets fans, like, relax. No need to stress about it. It might take some time, but he's going to be here eventually, and he's going to be our quarterback for 2023. But now back to the report that Aaron Rodgers might be sending signals to the Jets to hold out and wait, and there's no rush because there is a voluntary meetup I think this week or the next couple of days where the Jets all come together. Rodgers is not going to come to that regardless. The time that Aaron Rodgers needs to be in the Jets is in May, which is why Rodgers is saying simply, hey, you don't need to worry. I'm coming. He knows that the Packers are going to have to trade him. So Rodgers is not stressing about this situation. And it seems like the New York Jets aren't as well. So I want to get your guys' thoughts down below. Do you guys take what Greeny is saying accurate? I, I mean, like, do you take his words with substance? Do you feel like, no, Mike Greenberg, I don't care what he has to say. He's just a Jets fan and he's irrational and he says all these crazy things on his show and get up. I don't care about what Greeny has to say. Or do you think that this is actually possible? Because, listen, when it comes to all these different reports and these rumors and these questions, quotes from all these people it really is hard to tell what's true or not and i'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that this quote of what greeny is saying is 100 percent factual because i have no idea if it's factual he could be making it up for all i know but what it does is it brings to surface a conversation for us as a fan base to have could aaron Rodgers be telling the jets to hold and to wait because it benefits the organization maybe we know that rogers is coming 
Rodgers announced it himself on the same show that he that Mike Greenberg was on to say these types of quotes. And we also saw a couple days ago Aaron Rodgers working out with Alan Lazard in the offseason. So they're getting the chemistry going with Rodgers and Lazard. And now that the Jets, you know, missed out on Old Beckham Jr., it does seem like they're going to pivot their focus to adding another receiver, whether that's DeAndre Hopkins or getting a receiver high in the NFL draft. We will find out. But I do want to finish off the video with the topic that at the end of the quote of Mike Greenberg, he says that ultimately they won't wind up giving up the 13th overall pick in the draft, which seems like it's ultimately what it comes down to. Now, I thought this is interesting because I personally feel like the 13th overall pick isn't going anywhere. The only way the Jets trade the 13th pick, in my opinion, is if it's a trade swap with the Packers for 13 to 15, where the Jets move back two slots to 15 and the Packers move up two slots to 13. That's really the only case where I see the Jets moving off that first round pick. I thought that we've seen... And this is where it comes down to like, oh my gosh, how many different reports do we have to hear? We heard a couple weeks ago, the 13th overall pick is not a consideration. We heard from Mark Murphy himself of the Green Bay Packers that, yeah, we, we know that the 13th pick isn't coming our way. I mean, now we're hearing from Greenberg that the 13th overall pick is still what the holdup is. So what's true, what's not? I have no idea. My head's spinning from all this, just like you guys are. But the one thing I will say to really put this whole thing together is this. Aaron Rodgers is going to be a New York Jet. And I have so much confidence in saying that. And if he doesn't become a Jet and this whole thing falls through... I'll come on here and say with a straight face, I was completely wrong. And I'll be devastated, just like the entire Jets fan base. But I really am confident that this whole thing is going to play itself out. And the reason why I have that much confidence is for this simple reason. The Green Bay Packers need to get rid of Aaron Rodgers just as much as the Jets need to get Aaron Rodgers on their team. It's not a one-sided thing here. It's not like the Jets are desperate to get Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are like, Haha, well, we don't really need to get rid of him. No, the Green Bay Packers, they want to turn the page. They want to build around Jordan Love. If they're smart, they would give Jordan Love every single asset, every single resource, every single ability to be their franchise quarterback, to be able to free up cap space, to go out there and build around their new quarterback in Jordan Love. So the Green Bay Packers perspective here is they need to get rid of Aaron Rodgers in order to free up all that cap space and be able to afford some talent around their quarterback and to turn the page. And then from the Jets perspective, we all know why we want Aaron Rodgers. We have a win now team. Feels good to say that, right? So that's my overall thoughts about the rumor of what Mike Greenberg had to say. Again, big shout out to Boy Green. I'll leave his links down below in the description for uh, giving us this quote from the Pat McAfee show, bringing it to surface. He does a great job covering the New York Jets. That does it for this video, guys. Feel free to comment down below your thoughts of this rumor of what Mike Greenberg had to say. I appreciate all the support here on Jets Media, of course. Aaron Rodgers is coming. It's just a matter of when. We'll see if it happens before, during, or after the NFL draft, but it's going to happen. I promise you that.